What's going on guys? Awesome back and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best Rainbow Six Siege tricks that you need to be using in your games if you want to instantly improve, rank up, all that good stuff. Now I use all of these tricks that I'm going to show you in this video whenever I'm on these maps. So you know that they are, you know, good tricks to be using. So yeah, if you guys go and head and watch this whole video, make sure you hit the like subscribe button. My Twitch is linked down in the description. And without further ado, let's get right into the tricks. So the first trick is going to be on theme park attack. Now, I know how much you guys and me including hate attacking theme park in general, and especially throne room. I think throne room is one of the hardest sites to attack in the entire game. So this trick is actually going to help you be able to attack this map a lot better. So for this trick, you're going to need to be on a buck. So you're going to need to be buck. You need to clear this top floor because this is for the throne room attack. So once you clear this top floor, right, you're going to come into control room with Buck and you're going to come right up to this wall. So like right the initiation, you know, control room wall, you're going to come somewhere towards the middle. So like kind of right on my one ping and you're going to shoot down. Now, what this is going to do is this is the top of the breach, right? So you're going to be able to see right here where anybody is going to be bandit tricking potentially cade tricking or just playing close on this wall so you're going to be able to see any of them because it's the top of the wall when this is reinforced you will be able to see and break the top part of the wall because this is where they'll throw c4s out of you can come up here shoot the bandits whatever you can bring nades if you want have someone else come up here with you bring nades be able to nade them out so you guys can get this wall and try to actually win this uh attack but yeah i'll show you what it looks like now from throne room all right so this is what the angle actually looks like from throne room and this is what it's going to look like for the defenders obviously you can see this this angle is going to make you be able to see right in the throne room they're going to be able to see you but i'm just showing you that this is a great angle because anybody that's again bandit tricking k tricking whatever is going to be seen here you're going to be able to clear everything get this wall open and it's going to make the actual throne room push actually be able to be pushed so and done so yeah that is the first trick one of my favorites all right so for the next tip we are going to be on bank now this is going to be for the second floor attack on for bank but all you're going to do is you're going to spawn by the main entrance and you are going to book it here you're going to book it to where i am rappel up here and get right on this angle so you're going to want to shoot this right most window that you can see and as you can see right here on my ping straight up straight ahead this is where janitor is this is where the janitor rotate is going to be on every single site and every single time you attack this upstairs so even if you guys don't get here right away you're going to be able to get a free pick most of the time because this is a hot spot people will play in janitor and buy this rotate and kind of go back and forth you know especially early in the round so you are going to get a great angle you don't need to be cali for this obviously cali is nice because you get the one shot but if you want to run anybody else that works too but yeah this is a great angle especially if you can get here fast like i said you can most likely get a free pick almost every single time and this is a hard angle to see trust me and it's better than going on something like this site windows all right so the next trick is going to be for organ defense in the basement so if you can see i am running mira you don't need to run mira for this um because it'll still work but having the mira makes the strat even better and you'll see why in a sec but if you come into this closet obviously you're gonna have your you know rotate here if you come down here and actually you can shoot out this little table thing and if you can see this is right where the main door is so what i'm saying why mira is really good is because when people are attacking right down these main stairs and trying to take this they're going to be so focused on this mira that if you come down here and just shoot you are going to get a lot of free kills for people not even looking at you a lot of free tags this is a perfect angle that you can see on a main and a lot of people will not just openly you know if you want to see it from the other way here this is what it looks like Obviously, they will be able to see you a little bit. I opened it a lot. You can open it like less so you can be seen less. But a lot of the time, they're going to be on like an angle like this where they're going to be holding this or they're going to be holding this close and they're going to swing out. But underneath, you're going to be able to get the free kills through the feet. Now, before I finish this up, I want to give a shout out. I think it was Coconut Bra I saw this from on TikTok. And it was Gunner, who I'm pretty sure is a player on Beast Coast. So shout out them for this tip. But yeah, this is a great trick that you can use to help hold this basement on Oregon. All right, so for this fourth trick, I'm not going to be in game doing it. I don't have people to do it with. You're going to need an extra person to help you with this strat. So you're going to need your friend. This is a good duo queue trick. 
but uh yeah i'm gonna show you guys just some footage of what i did so basically you're gonna this is gonna be for the throne room defense as you can see and all you're gonna be doing is being on a zombie and your teammate needs to be on a shield so if you come to these green boxes like i'm about to do and you actually throw a kiba right here this is what you're gonna need to do you throw your kiba you're gonna hit it twice then you're gonna have your friend with a deployable shield hop on up and as he's putting down this shield you are gonna want to hit the azami away so as you can see i'm gonna hit this azami as it's going up and this gives you this angle right here look at how great this angle is you are not able to do this normally with a shield you need the azami so this is going to give you a pixel peek right onto this like dragon door which is insane i mean this map is already insane to defend and this just adds to it right this is an amazing angle that you can do but if you want to you know um spice up this angle and make it like pretty much impossible for you to kill you come up here like i'm about to do and you're going to throw an extra zombie on top of this dragon door this is going to give you some more cover as you can see when you drop down like you can't basically it cuts off like half the door right so it makes it even hard for you to see as you can see look at this angle so we have someone my friend pops out and look at this look at how small this angle is you are not like when you are swinging this door right you're going to be worried about the bomb you're going to be worried about back throne you're going to be worried about the like connector door right you're not going to be worried about this angle people are going to be like oh he might be on the shield people are not going to be like oh my god he can just see under the shield right here right so yeah this is an insane angle that you can use that is going to guarantee you kills i mean this is one that's like basically a free kill every single time if you can do the strat and somebody comes to the doorway all right so this last trick i'm going to be showing you guys is going to be a universal tip this is going to be a tip that you can use on certain walls and things like that to get walls even if they have wall denial on them so i'm going to show you what i mean in a sec so if we are pushing from small tower right and we are trying to push right into this is dining dining hall right and if we are able to take control of small tower and we go upstairs and put a charge a thermite charge right on this and we come down here right look at what it does this gets the wall now this is obviously not fully gotten right there's gonna be this huge thing here but this is really all you need right because this is still hop inable you can still hop in and do stuff like that but yeah you can do this on a lot of different places the most notable ones are going to be on this wall right here but also on theme park if you put your breach charge on the way right of a break room on theme park in going into bunks it will get that initiation wall if it is reinforced so that is a very good trick that you can use on a lot of different maps you know this one theme park and especially but i will also head upstairs and show you guys how you can actually use these thermite charges too to get caves off of walls um or off of hatches right so let's say you know this can be used for any hatch i think these are really great on like a kitchen hatch on clubhouse if you want to get this off but basically all you need to do is if there is a cage charge on this all you need to do is put a thermite charge next to it and what it will do is it won't it'll blow up the hatch if it's close enough sometimes but if it isn't close enough and doesn't blow it up it will get the cade because this blows up the huge radius just because of how powerful the actual thermite charge is that is why it gets walls through different walls that's why it'll get a cave that's why it might get the hatch if it's reinforced and stuff like that so yeah make sure you guys are using the, this especially you know important thermite trick so you guys can help get your team's walls open hatches open and everything like that but that's gonna be all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned a couple things and use these tricks inside of your own games to help you guys instantly improve and rank up in rainbow six siege but yeah make sure you if you made it all the way through you hit the like subscribe button it really helps out and you go down into the description and check out my twitch i stream like every night over there all night and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out